Well, hello, everyone. You're about to witness my very first speech I gave at my club, Words on Wings, a while, on Friday, April 30th, 2021. Since I chose to follow the presentation mastery pathway to help me obtain the required communication skills, this was my level one, project one speech. The purpose of this project was to introduce myself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. I had to write and deliver a speech about any topic. It could have been humorous, informational, or any other style that appealed to me. It had to be between four and six minutes, and a speech evaluator had to give me an effective evaluation of my speech and delivery style. Here we go. Who am I? No, who am I really? And why am I even here? Dear friends, those are questions that I have struggled to answer for as long as I can remember. I would typically mention some of the following facts depending, depending on what I thought you wanted to hear. I'm the daughter of hardworking Haitian parents who immigrated to Canada in the 1970s. I am one of three siblings. I started working very young, but my first documented job was as a cashier. I became a proud Canadian citizen when I was 19 years old. <laughs> I have a bachelor's in computer science. I worked at the Royal Bank of Canada as a call center agent, a trainer, and a client service manager. I left the bank to go work for the federal government where I have been serving Canadians for the last 16 years. And I'm the mother of a phenomenal 18 year old daughter. And I could go on and on and on and run out of time. But none of those things would actually tell you who I really am. Beyond that, I'm a spreader of love, joy, and positivity, a motivator, an eternal life student, and a believer in the good of humanity. I love the community, the community that I serve and that I'm a part of. I like to think of myself as a plant. If you bear with me, I will elaborate shortly. I had a wonderful childhood with my siblings in a loving home surrounded by my parents who supported and encouraged me. However, a traumatic event during my teenagehood and countless bad decisions placed my seed in the wrong soil. My little tree grew, but it was frail and sickly. Mm, hate it. So sad. And it was not in the right environment to extend and grow solid roots. It was only when I hit absolute rock bottom in September 2018 that I had to choose between two options continue to repeat my unhealthy patterns or embark on a healing journey. I think you can guess uh, which one I selected. Fast forward to winter 2020, I discovered discover my life purpose, the reason why I had to endure so much pain and, um, and suffering for all these years. It finally all made sense. I had to reach out and help a certain group of women. That is the audience that I absolutely must get to. You may ask yourselves, who are these women? I'll tell you. They don't believe that they deserve to be happy, cherished, and protected. They likely don't even know how to truly love themselves. They are expert self-sabotagers or people pleasers. Superwomen that just don't know when to stop until they burn out. Some may be broken up in, into millions of pieces like I was. Maybe they're just fine. And I just want to share my experience to prevent them or their kids from making the same mistakes that I've made. I want to find my voice to tell them that they are worthy and important. Even if their seed has been planted in the wrong in, place in their, their entire life, it doesn't mean that their seed is damaged they're still alive and breathing. They still have a chance to remove their seed from where it is planted and move it to a better location where it can be nurtured and nourished properly. There's still hope. They just need the proper tools and a little bit of help. So this is my life mission. This is who I am. My healing path led me to a woman conference last summer 
One of the sessions I joined was titled, Find Your Own Voice. The amazing and eloquent speaker, Dr. Anita Phillips, encouraged the participants to join a group, such as Toastmasters, to become excellent communicators. I remember Googling it back then, but since I had just started working on another project, I tossed the idea on the side, and frankly, I completely forgot about it. Fast forward to um, a few weeks ago, <laughs> I was reading a book called The Power of Self-Discipline, No Excuses, by Brian Tracy. That had a section on Toastmasters. Learn to speak on your feet was the catchy subtitle. He went on to explain that the, the benefits and positive outcomes of joining a club. In conclusion, I got the message loud and clear this time around. So here I am with my transplanted tree and some good soil this time. <laughs> and I would very much appreciate and value your Toastmastering assistance in watering and shining your sunlight on my tree to help it grow into a beautiful, fully grown, healthy one. Who knows, maybe you will even produce fruit one day. The end. If this spoke to you somehow, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and see you in the next video.